I'm ready when you are. All right, well, I see your hands are full. Wow, yeah, this is my second bag already. This beach wow. is dirty. I, wow, this beach is dirty, as you can see. And that is why we are here this morning to Absolutely. ensure that we keep it clean yeah. and healthy so we can come and enjoy the, 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 the beach and have some fun with our family and friends, right? Yeah, absolutely. And if you come on this beach, it's actually quite shocking, the amount of waste that is coming here. So if this is just one, I don't know, one small bit of the level of pollution that comes in off the ocean, then we as human beings really need to change our consumption patterns. And this is the key to this kind of message. Because if we don't create this trash, then there'll be no need for this. And we're killing this planet. This is your first assignment, I believe, since you came in, right? Um, what are we doing here? Walk us through what is happening here today. We teamed up with um, a local association, Plastic Punch, in order to raise awareness. Raise awareness on the damages caused by plastic to the sea, to the ocean, to the nature, to our health. Mm -hmm. Because it is said that every year, myself, yourself, everyone, the viewers, we are eating the equivalent of one credit card in terms of plastic because plastic is eaten by the fish, we eat fish so you know and plastic is not going away it takes more than five centuries for plastic to degrade into the water so the plastic we are littering today is there forever virtually this is a huge concern because the ocean, the sea, is not only, it's not only about Ghanaian beaches, it's, the sea is a common good. The plastic is going everywhere, mm -hmm. elsewhere. It's coming from Europe, it's coming from America, mm -hmm. from Africa. It's not just staying here. It's a common challenge mm -hmm. and we have to tackle it together. It's about a daily action that we are doing. You know, the daily action, the one day action around a huge beach cleanup will not change the face of Earth, but it's an issue of raising awareness, why it is important, why we have to do that, why we have to change our behavior, reduce plastic production and consumption. I have with me the Maltese ambassador to Ghana and um, I'd like to listen to him so he shares with us what he's been doing so far here at the beach. Good morning to you, Excellency. Good morning, good morning. So I see you've been carrying this. That's very heavy. Wow, that's a lot yeah, in I've there. I have seen the previous one. It was even heavier. Really? You've been working. Tell us about, briefly tell us about this exercise. Okay, um, first of all, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the EU delegation for this initiative and Plastic Punch for coordinating uh, another successful event. Uh, this is my second one. I attended the first one last year. I believe you were there too. We were here with you. We're only getting older and our t-shirts are shrinking, to be honest. <laughs> I'm even going to, that's going to be my first complaint to the EU delegation, <laughs> that the t-shirts are getting smaller. We need to increase the, increase sizes. the sizes. But having said that, um, it's, uh, we're all here to, for one scope, apart from cleaning and leaving a bit of a positive impact. But uh, we have to raise awareness. Uh, today we had the pleasure to uh, host also Sakodie. Uh, who came here uh, we need more people like him to get their hands dirty and i like that <laughs> you know it's it's easy to talk on camera right. say the right words say beautiful be words exactly so um it's it's uh, we're here to raise awareness on uh, plastic pollution which is a big problem um if we look at 2050 we're expected to have more uh, plastic waste in the ocean rather than fish and that is a big problem uh, but it's not the only problem. This is just a segment. If we if we take a step back and look at it and from a holistic point of view, um, you will realize that. Like, let's just take the summer as an example. Uh, we had uh, record heat waves. We had uh, fires, floods. These are all a result of the impact of climate change. So climate change is there. We can't deny that. And it's just a question of. By when are we going to actually tackle it? If we leave it for too late, then too late is what the result is going to be. Yeah.